Hey guys, uh, quick story. I have some friends who just had a baby and I wanted to get them something that was uh, great, some baby clothes. I obviously don't have a child. I don't know anything about children. And they like some very high-end clothes. So I wanted to look and find something locally because I like to support local businesses. And so I started yelping some very high-end boutique baby clothes stores. And I found this one that was phenomenal, but when I looked at the reviews, a lot were good, but there are some very bad reviews on there about the owner. Um, the owner is very rude, blah, 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 blah. And it was nice because I saw the owner jump in, right? They jumped in on the conversation and they actually came back with their side of the story or, you know what, if you come in, I can refund you. That shouldn't have been that way. And they were engaging. And so it made me want to do this video because I think whether you have a good review or a bad review, as a business, as a realtor, whatever you are, you should be engaging. I think it's a huge thing. I normally, if I did not see that person engaging, I probably would not have purchased clothing from this boutique, but I actually did. I saw the owner engaging. It made them look more like a human. It made them care and show that they cared about their business. It also showed that there's two sides to every story, right? You might have an angry client um, that says something, but guess what? There's always two sides to a story. So when I saw her side, it put it into perspective. So a couple takeaways here. Number one, whether it's good or bad, make sure you're responding. Always engage, right? You never know who's looking and you want your first impression to be great. Number two, if it's a bad review or a bad comment, make sure you engage and be polite, right? Don't get defensive. This person did phenomenal. They didn't get defensive, although maybe their organic strap of the baby's you know, shirt was broken, whatever the case may be. They were actually very positive. They're very encouraging. They're very, hey, let's, let's try to fix this. You can see that they were trying to fix the situation. Now on one of them, it got a little back and forth, right? My goal would be to maybe take it offline. The whole point of taking it offline is you don't want to have some big battle where everyone's reading all about your drama and the fight. You want to try, try to take it offline. There's a lot of advantages to that. You can maybe convince them to, to change their review, which a lot of people do. And you might win them over back as a client. You know, sorry that that came bad for the manufacturer. Let's get it in. I'll drive someone out there to change it and get you a brand new one. Or you know what? I'm sorry that you had that bad experience. Um, you know, I am a great realtor and you know, what can I do to make it up to you? There's a lot of things you can do. Um, and so that would be my big three takeaways for this. Uh, make sure you're using these review sites. They're phenomenal. Make sure you're getting reviewed and make sure you're engaging. Good luck.